Attracting the right talent into public service is a major challenge. Uh, this is according to Nger Wood, a professor of global governance at the Blavantic School of Government. And CNBC Africa's Only Sunday caught up with her to find out what she makes of the African Initiative for Governance Scholarship designed to improve public sector governance in Nigeria and Ghana. This AIG initiative is transformational because it's trying to change the public sector. And Nigeria, like almost every country in the world, needs a public sector that delivers better. Because just a very small improvement in the way the public sector works can transform millions of lives. It can really be improving. It's the most difficult thing to change, but it's the most impactful thing to change. So to see a leader from the private sector, like Mr. Eke Mukwede and his wife, step up to the plate and say, we're going to try and help change this, and then to see people like President Obasanjo and other advisors step up and give their time to this initiative and say, we all need to engage to improve the public sector. This is inspiring and it's what's needed. Now the debate is on obstacles to public sector performance. What obstacles have you identified over time? Well, you know, one of the obstacles is attracting the very best people to the public sector and then treating them in a way and giving them the opportunity to actually make a difference in a way that they can feel. So that they, when they go to work in the morning, they feel, I'm really doing something for other people. I'm doing something transformative. And that's a problem in almost every country. So what we're trying to do is say, look, working in the public sector is the most important thing you can do, and it's for the best and brightest, and come to the Blavatnik School of Government where you will be with 120 other people impassioned like you to improve their government, who are the very best from their countries. And that will fire everybody up and help everybody to learn from one another, to take forward the kind of transformation that's needed. Now, what's the school offering on this? Can you talk us through some of the programs? So the Blavatnik School of Government Master of Public Policy, which AIG scholars will come to do, is a one-year intensive program. This year, we have 124 candidates on it. They're from 64 different countries. Some of them are already ministers in their countries. Some of them are just starting out in their public service aspirations. And they're thrown together for a whole year to make them much sharper, more analytic thinkers. So there's a strong academic focus to make them much better, more able practitioners. So there's a real focus on communication skills, strategy, budgeting, the kind of practical skills you need. And there's a real focus on helping them to learn to learn from one another. So the Nigerian student that comes and thinks, I need to learn what the federal structure of Nigeria should be, can sit down with his or her peers from Indonesia and Brazil, other federal countries, and say, how is it working in your country? You know, what should we be trying in Nigeria? And we think that's a lifelong learning that all our students can be part of. Now we're talking about, say, one person undertaking this program in a huge public space. Um, what difference can one person make? Do you know, one person in the public sector can make a really big difference. When I look at our alumni who have become the youngest ever cabinet minister in Yemen, a deputy minister in Afghanistan, a minister in the Libyan government, these are very difficult governments to work in. And yet, one person can create an island of government that works. One person can bring to their area of government meritocracy. They can start hiring good people. They can start transforming delivery in that one sector. Now, it doesn't solve the country, all the country's problems, but it creates in the public sector little islands of success. And our hope is that once you get those islands of success, others will start trying to emulate them. And then the, it will be contagious and you'll end up with better government.